YouTube, it's Hava. Today I want to show you my newborn cloth diaper stash. My goal was to get, fit everything into this one dresser drawer, and it does, thank goodness. Although it is a bit of a tight fit, but it all fits. Um, my budget for my newborn stash for baby number two was $100. I went a little bit over, I think I ended up spending $108. Um, that was $108 though for the things that I bought new for this baby. So I'm going to go through and show you what was left over for my daughter that I think might work for a newborn. Um, and what I bought new for this baby that should, God willing, work for a newborn. Um, my daughter, we only cloth diapered part-time as a newborn. This time I want to use cloth diapers as exclusively as possible. So first let's start with the diapers that are actually newborn diapers. I had two of these Bum Genius extra small all-in-one diapers left over for my daughter. They've now been renamed the Bum Genius newborn diapers. And I was able to find a whole bunch of them on seconds on the Bum Genius website. So I was able to get one, two, six of them, and I paid $7.50 each for them. So it only added up to a total of $45 for these six diapers, which is a really great deal. So if you're interested in the Bum Genius newborn, they do have them on the Cotton Babies website on seconds, either for seven dollars or seven dollars and fifty cents um fairly frequently so i would try and get them that way and you can't tell that they're seconds they look pretty much perfect and for my daughter these fit right from the beginning underneath her umbilical cord my only problem with them was that the drying time is longer and that she outgrew the absorbency before she outgrew the diapers but they're newborn diapers so that's fine and then i have six of the charlie banana extra small diapers and they came in this pack of one of these, one of these, and one of these. I was able to get two of them. These I got in last June on clearance at Target. Target every summer, um, the beginning of the summer, brings in Charlie Banana diapers. I guess they do it because of their swim diapers and then they usually clearance them at the end of July, June, beginning of July. So I was able to get one of these six packs for $10.95 and the other six pack for $7.95. So these six diapers, you know, all six Charlie Banana Extra Smalls that I have, um, I paid only, I guess, what's 18 plus eight, about $26 for, which is a really great deal, an even better deal um, than the Bum Genius Extra Smalls. Usually I think these retail, retail for like three for 50, so that's just amazing. And what was nice is I also got some actual boy colors. So even if I have a boy, I'll have a few boy colors. Um, and I hope these will work, these fuzzy buns, extra small, sh the, excuse me, I hope these Charlie Banana extra small should work really well for my daughter because the fit looks like it's very similar to the fuzzy buns extra small. I had this fuzzy bun extra small for my daughter and it worked great. So we're going to reuse that this time. Even if it's a boy, that'll just be, you know, when we're running low on diapers. Then I had a few one size options that I thought would fit well on a newborn. So I, I have four of the fuzzy buns one size diaper three of these are the elite version and one is the original version and you can see they get down pretty teeny tiny I mean the baby will have a huge bubble butt because of all this extra fabric in back but I'm hoping that they really will fit from the get-go I didn't buy these with my daughter till after she was out of the newborn stage so I don't know for sure but I'm hopeful um, and these were all ones that I had bought for my daughter so none of these were new purchases and one of these I actually received as a replacement diaper so I can show you one of the legs of one of these. Yes, yeah, so if you see here the leg of this diaper, you see the white stitching. Um, it actually come undone over here in the stitching. So they gave me this other one as a replacement, but they both should hopefully still be usable. So now I have, you know, the extra diaper. And then I have three Charlie Banana one size diapers. And again, these go down pretty small. And they qu not quite as small as the bun as the Fuzzy Bun's extra small, but still pretty tiny. So I'm hopeful that hopefully these will fit for a newborn as well. The black one was one that I had for my daughter, so I'm going to reuse that. And these two I also purchased at Target at the end of last June when they were in clearance. And I think I paid $8 each. Then I have these two fitted diapers, which I'm hoping will work really well for overnight. These are the Soothe Baby One Size Fitted Diapers. They're not supposed to start fitting until 8 to 10 pounds, but if I look at the height of the rise, um, I'm kind of hopeful that maybe they will actually fit a little sooner. They're pretty bulky, but we'll try them out. And then these all, those fitted diapers come with these extra doublers, which I could 
would probably actually even fit into one of the pocket diapers if I wanted to double up for nap night time or something. And I just have some wipes. And I have about 12. Those are Fuzzy Buns wipes that I got free with something. I don't remember what. Then I have some covers that I can use on my fitteds, and then I'll show you all the different inserts that I have for these covers. For my daughter, I tried out the Wee Huggers brand. Um, these aren't manufactured anymore. They're net, the most similar thing you can buy is the Capri diaper by Blueberry. Um, and that's been improved in some ways. I wasn't a huge fan of these. They fit really well from birth for my daughter. But I didn't like um, the way they fit as she got chubbier. And the other thing I didn't like about them is they have this bamboo layer um, touching the baby, which makes it nice and soft touching the baby, but it means that this will tend to get wet and then it's hard to actually reuse the cover. Plus I got these in you know more girly colors, so if I have a boy they wouldn't be the first things that I reach for, but they work so I'm going to keep them. Um, but these are a little bit of a trimmer cover, so I don't think they're going to fit over my bulky fitted. So I bought two new covers to try out with these baby in like kind of gender neutral slash boyish prints. I got one of the Thirsty's Extra Smalls, and this is a fairly generous sized cover, and it has their new high quality Aplex. Um, so I'm hoping this will fit nicely over the fitted diapers. And I also got a Thirsty's Duo Size 1. So this is their two size system. So as you can see, this has the stack down rise. Um, I'm hopeful that it'll also fit um, from the get-go because it does get kind of down to the size of the um, Thirsty's Extra Small when it's all snapped up. Um, and if not, this will hopefully fit over the fitted diapers until I can start using my Thirsty's Duo Size 2 cover. I got those fitted diapers when my daughter was a little bit older and used them with the Thirsty's Duo Size 2 and loved it. So hopefully the Thirsty's Duo Size 1 will work for the other end of using those fitteds. And then to put in all those covers, I have a few different options. These were left over for my daughter and I really love them. They are the Thirsty's Duo Size 1 inserts. It has a, um, like... I forgot what this is called, like micro fleece, um, stay dry top layer, and then some microfiber, and then a cotton hemp layer. And these two layers can be snapped apart for easier washing, or you could just use one or the other. Um, and these worked great. I have four of them, and I just stuffed those inside either the Wee Huggers, or now I'll have my Thirsty's covers to try out as well. Then also left over for my daughter, I ha bought tried a pack of the G-Cloth. So these belong to, these are made by G-Dapers. You can get them, you know, at Bye Bye Baby or Babies R Us. I didn't like them with my daughter. Um, if I don't like them with this baby, I think I'm going to donate them or pass them along somehow to somebody. I just felt like they weren't absorbent enough. So what I actually ended up doing was doubling them up before I used them. And they made it thicker, but at least then they absorbed enough pee to be worth putting on. And these have like a layer of, you know, a hemp cotton blend, I think. And then also the fleecy layer on top. But I just think that the absor it just doesn't absorb enough was my experience. And then lastly, I decided I wanted to try a few prefolds this time. So I got the Imagine Smart Fit prefolds. I got two of the size small and the one of the size extra small. And I will review and let you know how I think, which size I like better. Um, I think that the extra small... It's just going to be too small. It's a pretty small diaper. Like if you look, see according to, uh, comparison to my hand, um, I don't know if this is going to work for snappying. And I, the one thing I do still need to buy is I need to buy a snappier too. And then I just have some liners. I got these ones also in the Charlie Banana clearance. You can see I got the whole pack of 100 liners for um, $5.50. These are some of the Bummies liners that I had left over for my daughter. And I really like using liners with a newborn because they just poop all the time. Um, so it's nice to save yourself the trip to the diaper sprayer. So that is my cloth diaper stash for baby number two. Um, assuming I don't double up on the G diapers, that adds up to 35 diaper changes, which I think should be plenty. And if I don't use the G diapers at all, that still gives me um, 29, which should be pretty good. I do also have some flip inserts, which I could fold down and fit into the covers. They'll just be a little bit bulky, so I have those in my next drawer down as another option. Um, if you want to just see the list of everything that is in this stash, as well as links to purchasing it, then please check out my blog. The link is in the description below. Have a great day. Bye.